So the advantage to Windows Universal Code um, is you can take the same C code and instead of compiling for ARM, you can compile for Windows. So, which I've done now. CB, 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 CB 360. Welcome to 360 Cam. As you can tell, Starting devices. it's a lot faster. So all that's happened is there's serial one which runs to the RPI. Now, as you can tell, the RPI at the moment is unplugged. There's no power running to it. Not that it would matter if there was power running to it, but I changed the Arduino code to initialize serial and serial one and then accept commands from both. So while this is not sending commands and the PC is sending commands, so that is, as you can tell, I go from serial port to straight into the USB port and enable the COM port in my windows. Uh, it's gonna work for me or not. So the only code that needs to be changed now, I need to detect which machine is running which. Um, but okay, let's do that. The Arduino is reading commands directly, so A000, B400, light 1 on, light 2 off, light 3 on, light 2 off, and write the command. Alright. So I'll hold that over there for you. It's a lot more responsive, obviously, with more processing power. So that means that you can plug in any camera you want at any resolution you want. Default resolution I think is higher in Windows. Um, all the commands are still running. You need to select how much rotation you want. Sorry. So everything else is working. Fantastic. So once it detects the COM device is on serial instead of serial 1, it'll configure itself to write the files to a Windows Pictures folder instead of to the external USB drive. Then done. Two interfaces. RPI and and Windows done.